Let's get into these Vikings training camp battles. Let's start with the quarterback position. Woo! All right, welcome back to the Momar and Lepagus show. I'm one more with Lepagus. Training camp is only weeks away, so we're going to be looking at every damn position. We're going to talk about the best battles, the depth chart, surprises, and even throw a prediction how we think it'll shake out. Yeah, we're 18 days away from the rookies report. I cannot wait. That's going to be the official start of the 2023 season. Cannot wait for that. Uh, be sure, uh, before we get into the camp battles, subscribe to the channel, comment, and like, and also become a YouTube member if you got a couple extra bucks every month. Throw it our way. Uh, you get exclusive content and enter to uh, get some Walmart Olympic swag every month, which we should be drawing here very soon. So you keep saying, but we, we don't do it. We will, though. We will do it. We always we do will. it. We will. We will. We'll put your couple bucks to, to good use. There's all of our subscribers uh, or oh. members. Members. Show them some respect. Greatly appreciate that. Let's talk quarterback. So this is going to be one of the easier ones we do, so we might as well just get it off the list. But our depth chart, we all know it. Kirko, Big Dick, Nick Mullins. Yeah. yeah. The fresh face Jaron Hall. What a good looking group of quarterbacks right there. And yeah, I mean, this is, well, we're not going to get into it. But yeah, that's the depth chart right now as it stands, July 5th. Um, any battles here that you see coming? Well, I mean, let's, we don't need to talk about Kirk Cousins. We'll give him a two second. He's a starter. We have no idea what the future holds. If we had to bet, he probably won't be here next year, but never say never. Yeah, you never know. And, you know, he, if he gives us the Super Bowl, maybe the Vikings look to make him uh, an offer that will keep him in Minnesota for the rest of his career, which is, you know, he probably gets only... the Super Bowl. Uh, I'm building a statue of him in my front yard. I mean, every Minnesotan should. I don't know. I've seen your statues. They're not very good. Uh, so, yeah, Kirk Cousins, obviously, just like most teams in the league, he goes down. We are screwed. We do not have that guy who's going to come in and probably take us to the promised land. So, Kirk Cousins, boom, let's go to the real battle. There's absolutely a battle here. Battled by with Nick Mullins, Jaron Hall. Look at these guys. Yeah, I mean, that's the only battle you can find on this chart. Nick Mullins is not going to push Kirk Cousins for a starting job. We all know that. Um, and I think for this to really be a battle, Jaron Hall has to come in and just shock the pants off of everybody like he's you know, he's picking up the offense right away. He's making the calls at the line. He's you know throwing the ball in great places for his receivers to catch it. Uh, it would have to be a very surprising uh, him to pick this thing up right away to push Nick Mullins for the backup job. Yeah, I mean, the the factor is is everybody knows what Nick Mullins brings. We know what Nick Mullins is. He's a pretty decent backup quarterback. I'm glad he's here. The wild card is if Jaron Hall, I mean, we've seen it. We've seen rookie quarterbacks come on, splash out on the scene. You're like, holy shit, this guy is better than we expected. So he does have the holy shit uh, – angle where he could just like you said surprise everybody but Nick well, Mullins, at, I mean it's I, I still think it's worth saying that there could be a potential battle here there could be I mean one that we're not expecting to happen it could definitely happen look at Brock Purdy a year ago in in San Francisco he got a lot of play in the preseason played well came in and actually ran that offense he was no superstar but he ran the offense the way it had to be run so I mean Jaron Hall there's that possibility I don't think it's going to happen but there's that possibility it's possible Nick Mullins still signed for two more years um Jaron Hall Old man Withers, 25 years old, was the 12th quarterback taken. Uh, there's a lot of drafts where 12 quarterbacks aren't even taken. Lepagus is being attacked by fruit flies. It's a mosquito. Uh, but, I mean, he makes play. It, it, he didn't. He's not going to wow you. That's the thing. He makes plays with his legs, though. So that's what, again, could maybe give him a little bit of a step up on Nick Mullins is just the uh, playmaking ability. Yeah, and we'll see. Hopefully both these guys get long looks in preseason games. I'm sure they will. Hell, Hall might play the entire first one. Um, you never know. I hope we I, I hope we get to see him out there with you know, maybe maybe they put him out there with the backups, uh, just to see. But um, again, the new quarterback rule where uh what is it you can have they gotta be on your 53 man. They gotta be on your 53. So I don't think it really affects if they keep Jaron Hall or not. But uh if he's on the 53, he can be inactive on a game day and be an emergency quarterback. Yeah, not be counted against uh, whatever it is, the 48 guys they can keep. Um, yeah, so again, overall, if we make a prediction about this depth chart, I think it stays as is entering into the season. I think they will keep three, and I think that's the way it's going to look uh, when you go and look up the depth chart for the Vikings. Yeah, I mean, I, I think they'll keep three, but again, I mean, he was a fifth-round quarterback. Um, they're going to have to make some real, real tough decisions. I think Hall would really 
have to just shit his pants on the field multiple games for him not to make the team. So I think he'll make the team. I think you're right. I think it ends up Kirko, Big Dick Nick, Jaron Hall, and then Hall comes back next year maybe. 100%. And, you know, the Hall, the other thing with him is this. This is the first quarterback this regime has drafted. So they're going to want to, you know, get him in there, develop him, get their stamp on him, and uh, really mold him because this is their first guy to do that. Last two quarterbacks, Vikings drafted uh, Kellen Mond and Nate Stanley. Kellen Mond currently the fourth quarterback in the Browns depth chart. Wow. Wow. How do you like the maps? <laughs> I liked him when we drafted him. I'll tell you that. I liked it a lot. Hopefully, Jaron Hall puts a little end to the skid of quarterbacks that we drafted. Granted, they were. Or early, early. All right, so that is it. That is look at the quarterback training camp battles. We'll be doing this for every position again. So uh, this was our first dip into this pool. I can't wait to uh, cannonball in it tomorrow. Yeah, there'll be some more interesting ones. This was a pretty easy one. It was, it was. And before that, guys, remember this. There are 14 billion insects for every human on Earth. Fuck. <laughs>